In this video, I'm going to take you through a beginner's guide of how to buy, sell, exchange, send, and receive your crypto with the blockchain.com wallet. If you're new to Bitcoin in the cryptocurrency world, blockchain.com is a great place to start. Their wallet is one of the best known crypto wallets around and was launched in 2011. Since then, it has gained a large amount of trust within the cryptocurrency space. So what is a blockchain wallet? Well, it's a software cryptocurrency wallet where you can not only buy your crypto, but also store your coins safely. And it's one of the most popular choices with 48 million wallets for storing Bitcoin in Ethereum, especially when you're storing large amounts due to its security and protection. And you can easily access your crypto from anywhere using a mobile device or via their web platform. Blockchain.com has a range of products, with the wallet just being one of them. Their other products include the blockchain exchange platform, previously known as the PIP, to rival the likes of Coinbase Pro and Binance. They have their own hardware wallet, Lockbox, an institutional platform, Markets, and the Blockchain Developers API platform. But today, we're going to be concentrating on the wallet. And this is a full tutorial, from signing up and creating an account buying, sending, receiving, and exchanging. But if you're specifically looking to buy, I've created a tutorial for this. Or if you just want to find out how to sell and withdraw, again, I've got a separate video for that. And I'll also pop a timeline in the summary below so that you can jump to certain sections of the tutorial. Just be aware that depending on when you're watching this, you may find that some things have moved or changed. One of my first videos in 2017 was on the blockchain wallet but it's now almost unrecognizable from the platform that I'm going to show you today. So let's jump into it. Well, the first thing you want to do is create yourself an account, which you can do by clicking on to sign up in the top right. Then if we go to create a wallet, and you'll then be prompted to enter in your email address and create yourself a secure password. And then you'll see your welcome screen and you may well then be prompted to buy some crypto, but we'll skip that for the moment. We'll come back to that shortly. It then tells me that I need to confirm my email address to properly secure your account. So I'm just gonna go away and do that now. And as you can see, my email is now verified. Then you may wish to continue with your verification process to enable you to be able to trade and send funds from your bank account. So if we go across to the settings in the top right hand corner here, then down to profile. From here, you can see that you've got two verification levels, and these are silver and gold. So with silver, you'll need to enter in some personal details, such as your name, date of birth, and address. And then to upgrade to gold, you'll need to enter in your government issued ID and a portrait photo too. And you do unlock a lot more features when you go through the gold level verification process. Now I'm just gonna switch over to my demo wallet. So don't be confused if I've now got some funds and an active balance in my wallet too. So let's take a look at the dashboard. So on the screen here, you're shown your total balance if you have one, and then you'll have individual balances for each supported crypto. And as you can see here, they support USD Digital. Now that was previously known as USD Pax, and it's a stable coin, paid one to one with the US dollar. This means that one USD digital token will always be valued at one USD dollar within your wallet. You then have Bitcoin, Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash, and Stellar too. And you can click onto each one of these and it'll take you to the same link as the crypto names on the left here. It'll then show you your associated balance, the crypto price, and any transactions that you've made in or out of your account. And the same will apply for any other type of cryptocurrency that you can select from the list. But going back to our dashboard, we've taken a look at the total balance, but then you have a wallet balance and a separate hardware balance. And this is in case you've connected a hardware wallet, such as blockchain's own lockbox or a Ledger Nano. And it'll then show you some chart data in relation to each supported crypto. And this will give you price over the time and the ability to buy or swap that crypto. Then taking a look at the options on the left hand side here. And again, you have your total balance. And if you click onto the drop down, you can then again view the different types of balances for each different types of crypto. 
and you can convert these as well into your chosen currency. So we're on the dashboard at the moment, but let's just take a look at buy crypto. So when you click on to buy crypto, you'll see a pop-up appear on the right-hand side where you can purchase any of their supported coins. And I'll walk you through this entire process of buying your very first Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies shortly. If you want to try out a new coin, you can also swap. And this will allow you to swap any coins that you currently have without actually ever having to leave the wallet. So for example, I may want to swap from my Bitcoin wallet and I may want to switch that for Ethereum. I can obviously change that to USD Digital here or Stellar 2. And as you can see, there's a minimum amount of five pounds, which you can select or you can simply type in the amount that you'd like to swap and it'll then give you the conversion in Bitcoin too. Then over on the right, you have the exchange, the amount that you're exchanging. It will show you your network fees. Now these are quite high at the moment and I'll show you a way that you can actually reduce these fees shortly. You can see how much you're actually gonna be sending along with the fees and then how much you'll be receiving. And as you can see, these are constantly changing and that's because the market is always open and the price is changing. Then when you're ready, you can obviously click on to exchange to exchange those funds. You then have airdrops. Airdrops are a great way to try out new crypto for free and blockchain have rolled out two different phases so far. The first time they partnered with Stellar Lumens and as you can see here, I received $50 worth of Stellar Lumens. Then in January of 2020, I received $10 of Blockstacks. And then you can do what you wish with this crypto. So you can either convert them or you can keep them. They then have their own exchange and their exchange will give you more trading options. The fees will certainly be lower in here too, as you'll be paying between 0.14% and 0.24% for each different types of trades. So this is where you could save yourself some money on those transaction fees that we saw over in the swap section earlier. And I'll show you around the exchange and how to connect your wallet across with the exchange later when we go and sell crypto and withdraw to our bank accounts. Then there's blockchain borrow. So Blockchain Borrow gives their gold level verified users the ability to borrow US digital from blockchain. And that's using Bitcoin stored in the wallet as collateral. At this time, they only accept collateral in Bitcoin to be sent from your blockchain.com wallet. However, they do plan to extend this to other cryptocurrencies in the future. And one of the great things about this feature is that most lenders will pull borrowers credit score reports or other reports of borrowing history. And this can lead to having a negative effect on your credit score. However, Blockchain.com Borrow does not require credit, so taking out a loan with them will not affect your credit score. Then before you start buying or storing any Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies in your wallet, you'll want to make sure that it's secure. So if we head up to our security center, and you'll want to make sure that you enable two-step verification, which you enable with authenticator apps or SMS codes, which will give you a one-time code. And you'll also want to make sure that you back up your funds. So this will be 12 words that you'll need to keep somewhere safe offline, as it will give you or anyone who has it access to restore your wallet and access to your funds. So if you take anything away from this video, make sure that you take note of your private keys and store these safely. If you lose access to it, you could potentially lose all your crypto stored in this wallet with no third parties, such as blockchain, to help you out. Also, if we take a look at settings and preferences, you'll find some other settings where you can add your mobile number, change to different languages and currencies in here too. And then also under settings, you have an option called wallets and addresses. And from here, you can import Bitcoin addresses. So if you wanted to import a Bitcoin wallet, for example, you can do so from this section. And I've got a separate video about paper wallets, which you'll find in my videos. Just going back to the dashboard again. So if you want to buy your crypto quickly and easily within the blockchain wallet with euros or GBP, the first thing you need to do is select buy crypto. Then over on the right hand side, you want to choose the type of cryptocurrency you'd like to purchase. And you can select from Bitcoin, Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash, Stellar and USD Digital. 
and from here against each currency, it will show you the estimated price that you would be paying. And it's only estimated as the market could change between now and when you place your actual order. In this example, I'm going to be buying some Bitcoin today. And you can then type in the amount that you'd like to purchase, or you can select from the options available at the bottom here. So I'm going to purchase £20 of Bitcoin. Now, just to let you know, the minimum buy here is five of your chosen currency. So this could either be five pounds or five euros. And the maximum per order is 5,000, again, in your chosen currency. Then there's also daily and weekly limits too, which will depend on your level of verification. Now, I'm just going to click on to continue. However, if you're new, you will be asked to verify your identity to proceed with the order. And that may include uploading your photographic ID. Then once you're verified, you'll reach a checkout screen with the details of your order. So as you can see in here, it gives you an idea of the current exchange rate. It'll tell you your payment method and the fees that are associated, which is zero. Now, when you create an order on Blockchain's wallet, you're actually creating something called a market order, which means that you're paying at the market rate. So although the fees are showing as zero, you could be purchasing at a slightly inflated rate for your Bitcoin. And if you want to go ahead, you can click on to buy now. And it will then show you where you need to send your funds to. And as you can see here, it states that it may take up to one business day. Now, please note that it also states here that only send funds from a bank account in your name. If not, your deposit could be delayed or rejected. And the reason why that has to be in your name is so that they can link your bank account across with your blockchain wallet. Then you'll need to securely transfer euros or GBP, whatever currency you're paying with, from your bank account across to blockchain.com using the details that are on screen. Your purchase is then pending until they receive the funds. Now, if this is the first time you're sending funds across from your bank account, you may be asked to send a small deposit across to link it up. Now, I've now sent my funds across, so I'm going to click on to OK. And as you can see here, it states that once we receive your bank transfer, your buy order will complete. Now, I've just received an email one minute later from blockchain.com informing me that my Bitcoin is now available. So now your purchase has now been completed and your Bitcoin is now stored safely within your blockchain.com wallet. If you want to send some funds outside of your wallet, maybe across to another wallet or an exchange to convert your crypto, you can click onto the send button at the top here. It'll then ask you what type of currency you want to send, which you can select from the drop down. It'll ask you which wallet, especially if you have several in here. And then it will tell you to paste, scan, or select the destination of where you're going to send it across to. So you can scan using a QR code. You can select something from the drop down list. Or you can paste in the address of where you're sending it to. Now just make sure that you are sending across the exact address. And I usually check a few characters at the end, at the beginning, and in the center too. You then be asked how much you'd like to send across to that address and it'll convert that in BTC. It'll ask you if you want to put in description, so if you want to put in any type of reference in here too. You have different types of network fees, so you can select from regular or priority to get your transaction through faster. And then you can click on to continue. So as you can see here, it then gives me a confirmation where I'm going to be sending it from, where I'm sending it to, the amount of funds I'm going to be sending across, the fee that's associated to sending this Bitcoin, and it then gives me my total. Once you're ready, you can go ahead and send your Bitcoin. Once you've sent it, you can then check it out under your transactions, which you can find by clicking onto Bitcoin, then going through your different types of transactions. And you can view any of your transactions in more detail by clicking onto one of them, and viewing the associated information. And it'll tell you as soon as that transaction is confirmed and completed too. The blockchain wallet used to have a buy and sell section on the left here, which has now been mysteriously replaced with just buy crypto. So how can you sell your crypto with blockchain? Well, if we take a look at the help here, you'll see that they're currently working hard to bring sell to their users. Even though they had it there before, and now that they've released their exchange, it's no longer available. It sounds a little bit like a ploy to move their users across to me. But anyway, 
Their exchange is nice and easy to use. And if you've not used it before, I've created a full beginner's guide, which I'll pop in the summary below. But for those of you who haven't connected the blockchain.com wallet across with your blockchain exchange, what I'll do is I'll show you how to do that now. So if we go ahead and create a new account within the blockchain exchange, and you'll be prompted to enter an email address and a password. And you'll then be prompted to connect your wallet. And one thing to mention is that connecting your blockchain wallet is only possible during sign up, and you won't be able to do this later. Also, you will need to be gold level verified to deposit and withdraw fiat from the exchange, which just means submitting your government issued ID on top of the silver level verification requirements. So let's go ahead and connect up our blockchain wallet. And you can do this by scanning across a QR code or signing into your wallet. And as you can see, it's now come up with a success that you've connected your blockchain wallet to your exchange and you can go back and finish signing up. So now we've successfully connected those two. So as you can see, it's a really simple process to do. And you'll then be prompted to enter in a username. If I just click on to continue, and then I can start trading. And the first thing you need to do is deposit some crypto that you can sell. So if we click on to deposit now in the top right hand corner, and if you haven't already done so, you'll need to enable two-factor authentication at this stage. And then you want to confirm what type of currency you're actually going to be sending across to the exchange. And that could be the likes of Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum, Stellar or Litecoin. And in this example, I'm going to be sending across Bitcoin, which I'm going to be depositing from my blockchain.com wallet. You'll be prompted to log in. And a send Bitcoin screen should then automatically prompt. However, if for any reason it doesn't, you can click on to send. Then from the two field, you can select exchange Bitcoin address. You then want to put in the amount that you want to send across. And I'm going to send across $15 of Bitcoin. And you'll see that there is a fee associated, which you are charged, but you can select from either regular or priority. It then states the amount of time it thinks it will take to actually go across. And then you can click on to continue. It will then show you a confirmation and you can click on to send Bitcoin. Then once you have some Bitcoin, Ethereum or other crypto to sell, you can go ahead and trade into your chosen currency. So from the top here, by clicking on the plus, you can choose your pairing. So in this example, I've got Bitcoin and I want to exchange it to GBP. But maybe you've got Bitcoin and you want to exchange it for euros or dollars. They're also available from this drop down too. But for the moment, like I said, I'm going to be selling out to GBP. So once you've selected your trading pair, what we're going to do is go across to the right and click on to sell. And you then want to type in the amount of Bitcoin that you want to sell, or you can take from what is available to trade, which will be your entire balance. And then if you click onto that link, it will automatically fill in the amount field. However, I'm going to be selling about 10 pounds in Bitcoin. So what I'm going to do is type that in. And once you've typed that in, it's then going to give you an estimated total in here as well. So you can see it's about 10 pounds there. And then you have your order types. So you have an option of a market, a limit, a stop and a stop limit order. And I've got separate tutorials with explanations of all of these, which again, I'll pop in the summary below. But for the purposes of this beginner's guide, I'm going to keep it simple and sell with a market order. And this means I'm going to sell at whatever the current market price is. And there are different fees associated to different types of orders too, and how much you're actually trading with. In this example, I'm a taker of the market and therefore I'm going to be charged 0.24% for my trade. Then once you're ready for that to go ahead, click on to place Bitcoin order. It will then come up with a confirmation and you can submit your order. Again, it's showing you that confirmation of that fee too. Now with a market order, it automatically places and it goes through instantly. So if I now click onto my username and click on the little down arrow, and go to history. I can now view information in relation to that order. So it gives me the amount that I sold. It'll tell me the fill price, how much of a fee I was charged, and then the date and time of that order. If I now go back over to my username, and if I go to portfolio, you can see from my portfolio under the British pounds, I have the option to withdraw because I have an active balance. 
So if I click onto that, it'll then ask me what I want to withdraw. So if I click on the drop down, and if I select British pounds, and as I said, you will need to be gold level verified to be able to withdraw GBP. And if you don't already have a linked bank account, it'll also ask you to make a small deposit so that they can link your bank account. And when I deposited my funds across from my bank account, it came through instantly. Just ensure that the name that you have on your blockchain exchange matches the name on your bank account so that they can match the two together. Now, in terms of withdrawal fees, your transaction automatically includes a network fee to get your withdrawal confirmed in a timely manner. So you'll then be asked how much you'd like to withdraw. And I'm going to withdraw £10. And you'll also be asked to enter in your two-factor authentication code. Then you can go ahead and withdraw. So as you can see, it states that your withdrawal is being processed. It might take up to five business days to reach your bank account. However, I've just received a notification on my phone saying that I've just received £10 into my bank. So that's how you can sell your crypto and withdraw your chosen currency to your bank account. Then if you want to request some funds, so say for example, you want to send some funds back across from an exchange across into your wallet, you can click onto the request button. It'll then ask you what type of crypto you're going to be requesting or receiving into this wallet. So you can select from any of these cryptocurrencies. So for this example, I'm going to select Ethereum. And then you'll be presented with a QR code, which again, you can use with your mobile phone. And it also provides you with your Ethereum address, which you can then copy and then paste over, very similar to like we just did with our send button. You can paste this over from your exchange or another wallet and then send the funds across to your blockchain.com wallet. Once you've done that, you can click onto done. And once the funds have then been sent across from their destination across into your blockchain.com wallet, and once that transaction is completed, your balance will appear within your wallet. So that was my run through of the whole of blockchain.com wallet. And I hope that you enjoyed this video today. And if you did, then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button, and please do head over to my website at everybithelps.co.uk for more tips, reviews, and tutorials. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.